Ooh, that belly button smells like Axe body spray and bad decisions. I told you not to. Do it for the TikTok, you said. You did indeed tell me that, but it was for science. So why exactly do our belly buttons have a smell? Well, it turns out that the man cave, or your she shed, are prime real estate for bacteria, yeast, and fungus. I can feel you getting grossed out, but there's a buzzword that'll make you feel a lot better. It's your skin's microbiome. See, not so bad now, is it? A fast aside, cellulite, not a pathology, and can still be beautiful. Just like bodies, your skin's microbiome comes with an incredible amount of diversity. What you may not know is there's probably more diversity in this button than there is in this button. And this one falls somewhere in the middle. And that's because this one is simply a better hiding spot. And this one, because it's an Audi, is a little less hospitable. No matter what your button looks like, it's going to have a huge amount of biodiversity. Some of your live-in guests are going to be familiar to you if you've ever heard of staff. Excuse me, sir, it's Staphylococcus. Never forget the caucus. That joke is never as funny as you think it is. Staphylococcus is common amongst all humans. You can find it in your nose, in your body hair, and even inside your throat. And while this may sound disturbing, staph may actually offer some protection by outcompeting other more harmful bacteria. Staph, the friend that grows on you. However, not all of the bacteria are commonplace. Researchers have found a bacteria known as Marimonis in belly buttons. Up to that point, it had only been seen in the oceans. There have also been several forms of yeast identified. Wait, what is going on with this belly? Is it drinking that or is it dispensing it? And what does this have to do with the yeast? Oh God, I think I know where you're going with. They did not do that. Of course they did. If you have yeast, you know what you do. You make beer. So yes, if you take some of your house guests and you cultivate them properly, you can make alcohol with them. Ooh, ooh, you did the beer, now you gotta tell them about the cheese. We scar people here so often, are you sure we have to do it? The trauma is why they keep coming back. I suppose that's a fair point. If you stuck around after all of that, you did this to yourself. If you were unaware, the process of cheese making requires strains of bacteria. And as we've been talking about, your belly button is loaded with them. So if you are an enterprising foodie like these people, you can take that bacteria and make your own cheese. You've heard of selfies, this is self-cheese. Then you turn it over to capitalism and make it from famous people because fans will buy anything. Can I interest you in some Taylor Swiss? It's gonna get worse from here on in, I warned you. If you never noticed, some of the more pungent foods have a lot of crossover with body odors. This is especially true for your foods that are preserved or fermented, like yogurt or pickles or cheese. And that's because when you preserve or ferment something, you're basically feeding those bacteria and they are producing, you know, wastes and gases. Your belly button, or as it's known in the bacterial world, the pantry, is chock full of hair, dead skin cells, oil, and moisture. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet for all the microscopic things. And in general, all of this is okay because it's sort of a balanced ecosystem. But there's always a but. If you're never cleaning your belly button, there's a chance for overgrowth or an imbalance to occur. And when that happens, this area can become a haven for things like strep. Yes, the same kind of strep that gives you strep throat or the flesh eating kind. And because this area is dark and moist and relatively low in oxygen, it also makes a good environment for yeast. So yes, you can get a yeast infection in your belly button. You really are just all about the trauma here, aren't you? Some people call it trauma, I call it knowledge. But don't despair, this is an easily solved problem. You need to be cleaning your belly button once a week with some mild soap and water, and then you dry it thoroughly when you're all done. If you're one of the many people who finds all of what I said aberrant and don't want anything or anyone anywhere near your belly button, at least give it a spritz of soap and then spray it out with something. And then give it a really quick towel dry. I know this was a long one and if you stayed all the way to the end, I would love to know that. So here's a little secret thing we're gonna do. You just comment what celebrity you would eat, I guess, body cheese or body beer from and uh, we'll just keep that an inside joke. And as always, thanks for learning with me, and if you have a question, you know what to do.